Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to Vlog of a Small YouTuber number 14 and today I want to talk about uh, being the devil's advocate kind of in this YouTube universe and even on other places like Steam It where there's a conversation going on a lot. This conversation is the um, it is the hashtag YouTube is over party but you know hashtag leave YouTube or whatever and it's specifically related to the YouTube monetization changes. I'm sure all of you know, you know, you need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time to be monetized now. And if you don't know, I'm actually for this change because when you hit a thousand subscribers or the four, and the 4,000 hours of watch time, you will get a lot more revenue than they used to be. I like to quote this all the time from my own analytics is, I would get 20 bucks for 10,000 views before the adpocalypse. Then the adpocalypse hit and I got $3. Okay. And ad revenue, ad space, I, this is just me speculating, but I don't think, you know, the ratio of creators to advertisers, I think there's been way more creators. So there's a lot less ads to go around. If you notice when you play a video, you don't always get an ad. And especially now, you will not always get an ad because of smaller creators. But um, it's very strange being the devil's advocate for this because I find a lot of people are open-minded to the positivities of this. So if I find a video on, let's just say I go on to DTube. And if you don't know what DTube is, it is a video streaming service built on the Steam blockchain. And if you look up DTube, I think it's a .io, it might be a .com, you'll see what it is and you'll know exactly what it is. So if you go on DTube, there's a lot of the hashtag YouTube is over party, right? And they're like, YouTube doesn't care about their creators, YouTube doesn't care about this, they only care about advertisers. And I'll write a comment like, you know, this is good, this means that creators get more money and you know youtube i think needs to work on communication but they're trying to do the best to support the most creators yeah small creators are going to get you know lose some money between 100 to 500 dollars you know something like that and they're like i didn't think about it that way i, I could see that you know and they, they don't become full supportive of youtube's decision but you know they might still be against it but they understand why some people support it and it is the strangest thing because like I see both sides and I balance it out I say okay don't make money here da 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 and you know I've always said this you're stupid if you just rely on YouTube AdSense as your income because it's so unreliable and I feel like a lot of people see YouTube AdSense as their end game like this is where the money is when I mean on D Live. Okay, the live streaming platform for Steam at Steam's current price of $3.50, okay? I have made $400 on my first month, okay? That is more money. That is like, I want to say six, almost seven times as much money as I made on YouTube AdSense in two and a half years right so think about it that way there's other ways to make money online whether it's you know even affiliate links just go on Amazon look up Amazon affiliates you can link stuff like hey you see this game I played you can buy it on Amazon and support me and I get like I don't know 2.5 percent of the revenue that you get from clicking that link if it's a $60 video game I mean you get like I don't know some amount of sense but if it's like like, there's other ways to make money than AdSense, and everyone's just so hyper-focused on AdSense. Like, YouTube didn't even have ads when they started, and no one cared. The people that, honestly, the people that um, are on YouTube were on YouTube before ads and worked on it every day. I have, I have like, I have a special respect for those people because they worked before ads. This, this is one of the reasons why Everyone can say whatever they want about PewDiePie, but PewDiePie worked before there was ads. There was an end goal of ads because you could get it off of the, um, what do you call it? The MCN channel stuff, the MCN scam of like Machinima and whatever. But he didn't get that instantly like most of us 
had, you know, we, we had the, the privilege of having AdSense when we started. whoop de doo I get $2.50 a month off of ads. Yeah, it's, you know, I mean, like the most I ever made in a month was like $9 on ads, honestly. And it's, you know, it's like, this isn't the end game. You can write a book and like, if you have an audience of 10, like a thousand active people, like write a book and sell it for a dollar, you know, make a Steam it account. If a thousand people upvote you, you get a dollar at least. Actually, no, if a thousand people upvote you, you get $10. If you have a thousand people make a Steam account and they upvote 10 posts, make a hundred dollars. That's probably more than those thousand people, 30,000 views. That is literally like 10, a hundred dollars is more money than 30,000 views. So that it's weird playing devil's advocate. I know I just went on a rant there and vlog with small YouTuber, but it's been weird playing devil's advocate after this whole YouTube partnership change. And I want to know your guys thoughts. Do you support it? Do you, do you not support it? I always love this discussion because I still think there's more perspectives out there that we haven't heard of yet. But we just gotta find them. So share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm Steve the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, steam it, post of whatever I decide to make.